What's up with it, y'all? It's your girl, Destiny Judah, and I'm back at y'all with another video. The title of this video is going to be, Why is Everyone's Nose Shaped Differently? Now, the purpose of me doing this video is hopefully to enlighten you or to just drop some jewels or plant some seeds in your mind. And to make you question things that maybe you've never even, you know, thought about. Because it's something that's been pondering on my mind for a while now. I would often see people, you know, around me. People that I interact with. Like people in my family. Like some of my cousins or even my aunts. Strangers. People I may work with. People I went to school with. You know, just different people that's out in this society. And it was one thing that I couldn't help but notice, y'all. And it was a question that I would always ask myself, you know. Why is everyone nose shaped differently? And not even just that, y'all. This specific nose. Like this nose that you see on your screen. This nose is seemingly becoming more dominant and more um obvious in our society it seems like the majority of people now carry this nose all right and i've come to the conclusion you guys this nose you can associate it with the tares, all right, with the serpent seed. And I'm just going to take it back to the book of Matthew for a second. We all know about the parable of the wheat and tares. If you're not new to my channel, if you watch any of my recent videos or older videos, you know that I'm always breaking down the wheat and the tares, telling you guys how to spot them and the differences in the serpent seed and God's real, true human children. You guys, just like I have videos on the eyes, on the tongue, you know, showing you that it's different ways you could spot them. The nose is also another way. And I'm going to explain to you guys, because see, it's actually quite simple. The original human, humans that was on this earth first, we all know we're black, right? We're my people, my race of people. Everything started with us and everything is going to end with us. And everything was created from black people. We are the soil and we are the salts of the earth. And that's straight from the mouth of the most high. So, right, right. Now, if you know the original human was black, right? Or was dark skin, as you, if that's what you want to say, was darker skin of melanin. Then you will have to ask yourself, what type of nose is associated with being black? Like what's what's a common phrase or what's common what's the common type of nose that's associated with being black? It's usually I'm I'm about to show you guys because see like you're looking at NBA young boy right here on your screen, but see this is a tear. This is a counterfeit human being. This is not a real human, you guys. This is a seed from the serpent lineage. Now back to what I was saying. We'll come back to that in a second. Now, the original human nose, black people knows. That is associated with, you know, they'll say, oh, black people have big noses or their noses are wide or, you know, they have a tomato nose or they have huge noses. They have big noses. Right. Right. That's the nose type and form that's associated with black people. And we all know that blacks were the first people here in the world, period. All right. And everything was created from a black person. We are the original human beings. 
And with that being said, that means our original human noses will look something like this. Okay, you see now this is the real Michael Jackson. This is the real Michael Jackson before he was replaced, before Hollywood, before all of that, before the um skin being replaced and changed. And before the nose, the drastic change in the nose. And I'm going to show you guys. But see this here, this is the real Michael Jackson. And in this image, when Michael was a little boy, you could see his real nose. All right. Now, this is the real wheat nose. This is the real nose of a black person of the original humans all right this is our original nose shape now everybody knows it's not the same of course not but y'all i am telling you it is two types of people in this world you have wheat which is the real human beings which are the children of the most high and you have these dignities over here these imposters these tears i write these counterfeit humans and i'm telling y'all their noses looks like this and i see this type of nose all the time you guys and like i say you have to ask yourself if the original human is was black people is which is my people we know that what nose what type of nose is associated with us black people we have big noses like this, okay? Our noses are wide. It fits our face. It's a prominent feature, all right? So that answers your questions right there. So now that you know who the original human was that was here, and you know, then you will know the original nose type. So that leads you to one thing. This is not the original nose, this is not the original nose of us human beings, y'all. I'm telling you, these are the serpent seed children noses. And noses are the most prominent features on our face. And I'm telling y'all, it's people in my family with this nose. And I would just sit back, you know, and watch their behavior. These are tears, these are tears and see. And that's another question that arises, y'all. That's why a lot of the ancient um, and older Egyptian statues. Why is it that all of their noses are blown off? Why is it that all their noses are missing? It's like that for a reason, y'all. It's because it had the original nose of the black people. It had the original human noses, y'all. Those other noses that looks like a witch nose, all pointy and long and sharp like that, that is a tear nose. That's not the original human nose. And that's why they knocked all of these noses off the egyptian statues y'all nothing is by coincidence this stuff was done strategically and on purpose to hide the truth all right these noses right here that you see on your screen this is not the original human nose y'all so these are not original humans these are tears it's quite simple see and if you was to google something like this if you was to google why is everyone nose shaped different google will tell you something like google's going to tell you that climate shaped your nose and that is a big lie they're going to tell you that the shape of someone's nose um, and, the, and how it looks, they're going to tell you that it was, of course, formed by its parents. But then they're also going to tell you that it was because of a long process of adaptation to our local climate. And that is lies, lies, lies. It makes no sense. It is no way someone's nose shape could be a certain way because of the humidity and the climate the the humid excuse me because of the humid humidity and the temperatures in a certain climate that makes no sense at all 
that has nothing to do with your features. Okay. These are distinctive features, just like I showed you guys in my older videos, your eyes, your nose, lips, all of these things are distinctive, prominent features. Okay. And your nose is being one of the most prominent features on your face. It tells you what type of species you are, because like I said, us humans, we are not the only species on this earth, y'all, and they know this. That's why they hide things like this from you. Climate change, humidity and humidity and temperature has nothing to do with the shape of someone's nose. But of course, Google is a is run by demons and it's all lies. Okay. That's why these things have to be shown to you spiritually by the most high, you guys, because the internet is gonna lie to you. Google is gonna lie to you. These things are spiritual, okay? Now, like I said, we know that black people are the first and original humans. So what type of nose is normally associated with black a black person? You 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 would not associate someone black with this type of nose, y'all. In this day and age, I'm starting to see it more and more because like I said, it's not about race, but then again it also plays a part. Because with us being the original humans, we are often associated with having a bigger or wider nose. This nose will be associated, you know, with like a Caucasian person or like an Arab or someone of a different race other than black. Okay. But lately, you guys, like I said, tears are, ma are the majority and these um, counterfeit fake humans are replacing a lot of the real ones. So like now I'm starting to see a lot of black people, even black people with this nose, y'all. And like I said, they are tears. You just sit back and watch their behavior. A lot of them are very narcissistic, you know. They are schizophrenic. It's always something wrong. You know, these people have evil intent. And this is just based off of my experience. Everyone that I have come across with this knows, you guys, these tears, they have been just that. They have been tears. This is not the original human knows. All right, you guys, it is not. It's not. And that's why they show you, they push this nose type on you guys so much. They put, it's all in the commercials. It's all over the television. It's all over the phone. You know, when people get plastic surgery, they want to go for a more narrow nose like this. And, you know, they don't, they're destroying their features, their natural features, because we are different species. Now, this is the truth. This is what they don't want you to know. That's why, like I said, you may have some people in your family, you may notice a cousin or a aunt with this type of nose. And y'all, sometimes it's like, it is different shapes, but it all has that same form. It's like they have a beak, like when they're looking at you straight forward or even from the side, it's like their nose is like that of a bird, okay? Like it's a beak, like it's long and sharp. It, it, they all it's all they all have that same look okay even if it may be shaped different because some of them I notice some of these these hybrids you know this that's the word that I call for that's the word that I like to use for these type of noses because some of their noses y'all is pointy just like this it has that beak look at the end but the nostrils, they also flare, like they flare out like a bull. And y'all, these people, they just look like hybrids. They look so evil. These people with these type of noses, I am telling y'all, they are in my family and I have watched them. I see what they do. I see their behavior. They are 100% not real humans, okay? Okay. I'm telling you, what the internet is saying makes no sense at all. Telling you guys that it's because of the temperatures and humidity and climate change, why someone knows shape is the way that it is. That is absolutely insane. All right? This is how they come up with the climate conclusion. This is how they come up with it. Basically, what they have done is they looked at these um spats, these spatter, I believe is 
spatial distribution of the traits, which is of the nose, different noses, and they correlated it, meaning they matched it together. They associated it with them with local temperatures and humidity. And like I said, once again, humidity and temperatures have absolutely nothing to do with the shape of someone's nose. This is a bloodline thing, y'all. That's what it is. All right? That's what it is. But see, if you was to Google this, Google is telling you that wider noses are more common in warm, humid climates. And they're saying that people with noses like this, these tear noses, these counterfeit human noses, these narrower noses, they're telling you that they're more common in cold and dry climates. Well, I'm in Texas and it's hot as hell. And I still see these motherfuckers with these type of noses running around. This is actually the majority of what I see. These are the type of noses that I see. So that makes no sense at all. Y'all, these people, the I'm telling you, these tears, y'all, these demons, they will go to the full out extent with these lies that makes absolutely no sense at all to cover up, you know, their true identity. That's their main thing. They do not want to be exposed. But like I said, it's the end times, y'all. Everything that's in the light is coming into Excuse me, everything that was in the dark is coming into the light, y'all. These are not real humans. I'm telling you, you can see who these people really are through their facial features. That's why it's so important. And they try to tell you and make it seem like it's not important, y'all. That's why it's so important. If it, if it wasn't so important, why would they lie about it? Why are they telling you if you Google this, if you if you go on Google and you type in right now, why everyone's nose is shaped different? They're going to tell you because of climate change, because of climate, because of the temperatures and the humidity. That's what they're going to tell you. Why are they lying about that, y'all? Because you can see who these people really are through their features facial features are important the eyes the nose the ears y'all see how all these people have that same nose thing in common they all have that beak that points at the end that beak now you ask yourself what does the temperature and humidity have to do with the shape or form of these people noses not a damn thing And like here, y'all, this is Summer Walker. You see this and this is what these people push. See right here. This was her original nose. This is what's her original nose. You see it look like a normal black person's nose, like the original human nose. And then now look at her. This robotoid has been replaced. And what did they change on her? The only feature, main feature they changed on her is her nose. And you see how dominant and important the facial feature is, the nose is. Because she looks totally different. You see what I'm saying? They changed her nose from the original human to these to a tear. Now she looks like a tear. You see what I'm saying? They all look alike. They all have that certain look, that beak look. You see, this one here got nose reconstruction surgery, rhinoplasty, and the nose still have that beak. Y'all see, let me show you what I'm talking about. Y'all see, they have this, this point, this, this beak. It looks like a bird. This right here, this part right here, you see that? You see how it's pointing out at you? That beak. It's like a beak. This right here. This. It's like a beak. Okay? They all have that in common. These are tears. Serpent seeds inside of their bloodline. Their features look different. Their features look different than us children of the most high. 
Told you, you got real people and you got these serpent seeds. This nose belongs to the tares. This nose. So, if you out in the belt, you see the difference? See the, see the tear nose? And you see this nose? See, this is like the real human nose. The original human noses. And these are the tears. Even these celebrities have it. See, this is ASAP Rocky. He has a tear nose. You see that beak, even from the side. And these people look wicked as hell. And just watch these people actions, y'all. Watch how they act. Watch how they act. They act just like tears. Why do you think they keep changing them? Why do you think they changed Michael's nose like that? From the original human nose, clearly, clearly, to this. Imposters. Imposters, y'all. And that's another thing. Like, I, I'm trying to show y'all the different. Like I said, they're, they kind of look different, but they all have that same look. You feel me? Like a beak. Like it's a point. Like it's a witch nose. You feel me? They all have that same look. This is another person. This is a female with that nose. You see what I'm saying? You see how she has that beak, that point? These are tears, all of them. On Love and Hip Hop, I told y'all they're everywhere. What's that one feature they all have in common? Look at their noses. Look at all of their noses. They all have that beak. See, they look like hybrids. Especially this one right here on the end. You see that? Looks like a hybrid. And this one here, too, at the top. Looks like a hybrid. You see the difference how the nose feature, the feature the nose feature makes on your face? They all have that same beak nose, y'all. They are everywhere. Here's Drake and Nicki Minaj. They also have that beak tear nose. Counterfeit humans. This is not the original human nose. Nicki Minaj has it as well. Told y'all this is why they're always pushing in nose surgery. Getting a smaller nose bullshit. All of that. All of that. It's because they want to turn you into them, into one of them. They want to change your features to change who you are. These are the type of noses that they like to promote in society so that you can think this is normal. This is not normal, y'all. You see what I'm saying? These hybrid noses throwing up the bar for me. They are demons. You see that? That beak. I told you, no matter what's going to have that beak, that bird look. These are demons. That hybrid nose look. Him too. And y'all, sometimes you will see people, like I don't seen people, they have like long ass noses and they're just so long. And I'm just like, ugh. You know, they don't even look human. I've seen it. And I'm not making fun of anybody or anything like that. I'm just telling you that these noses belong to these counterfeit humans. These type of noses. That's why they look like hybrid noses. These people are like hybrids. You see that? This is not normal. This is not original. Our noses was not like this, y'all. Until these demons started to take over. So just like your eyes and stuff play a part, so does your nose type. I know some of y'all probably get offended. Some of y'all going to be looking. Hey, you're going to be looking at the person next to you. You're going to probably be looking at yourself. But hey, I'm just telling you what I know. This is facts, man. This is facts. Like Trick Daddy. You see that nose? That hybrid nose? You see that beak right there? 
throwing up the 666. I told y'all these are demons. Same thing with her as well. See that beak nose. And coming back to this picture here. These are all tears, y'all. They are all tears. They all have their beak points in their nose. Their features look different. And like I say, I win the end times now. Like their features is really exposing who they are. It's plenty of other different type of species that live amongst us. You have to understand that once you understand that, you'll know that these things are not far-fetched. And it's actually pretty simple to spot. You feel me? You just got to be willing to understand. You got to be willing to accept that these, these serpent seeds is among us and they could be in your family. They could be in your bloodline. Your sister could be one, your brother, your mom, your dad, your cousin, your granny, your aunt. And that's why how you end up with shit like this. Y'all got different noses in the family. That's because y'all are different species. Y'all are not the same. See, you may be like myself. You may be a child of the most high. But see, your aunt and your cousins... They got these terrorist noses, and they act just like terrorists do. They maneuver like terrorists do. And you know 100% facts without a shadow of a doubt that they are terrorists. And I bet nine times out of ten that they nose just happen to look something like these. I told y'all. They always going to have that beak look. It may be shaped just a little bit different. Some may be smaller. Some may be even bigger than others. But it's that distinctive look. And you're going to be able to tell. And when you see that nose, just chill. Just relax. Just fall back and start to pay attention to their actions. Pay attention to their behavior. Pay attention to the things they do. To the things that they say. And it's all going to make sense. With that being said, I praise to the Most High. These features, facial features, is very important. Because with these features, you can see who people really are in these end days. And that's why they're trying to cover it up with so many lies.